Um, I mean, it was a tough series for us personally, but uh, I feel like we competed, uh, especially in the last game. Uh, they were the better team. They outplayed us. Uh, we just got to come back next year, regroup, and be better. What did you feel like was working for you so well last night? I was just in the rhythm. Uh, had the ball in my hands, got to make plays. Um, didn't really get those opportunities that much this season. Uh, but just being able to have the ball in my hands and my shot felt good. Like I said, I was in the rhythm, so that's it. The NBA players evolve, teams evolve, the league-wide strategy evolves. How, how do you see your game growing? Where do you think the league is going in terms of style of plays, the styles of play that can be successful? Uh, I mean, as far as the league, I think it's going to be – I think guys not going to have a position. Um, we've got a lot of big guards, a lot of, you know, four men who can play guards, who can play the five as well. Um, for myself, it's just, you know, trying to be as versatile as possible, uh, being able to, you know, handle the ball, being able to post up, being able to play defense, uh, just things like that. Uh, they were great. Uh, they came out and showed support. Uh, we ain't necessarily reward them with W's, but um, they definitely came out and supported us. And, you know, we're always appreciative of that. Uh, they give us an energy boost, whether they know it or not. Uh, I, I was okay. Um, I definitely think I could be better. Uh, but it's all about growth. Uh, it's my third year. So, you know, just learning, you know, guarding a lot of guys, you're going to have some bad nights, you know, when you're guarding, you know, uh, the type of guys I'm guarding. So um, just learning where to pick my spots, how to not, you know, foul and things like that. So uh, I'm going to learn. I'll be better. Yeah, my back was actually hurting me for a while. Uh, I, was, I was playing through it, but... Uh, my knee and my wrist, uh, it's, it's fine. They're, they're normal. But, yeah, my back was – it was tough, but I was, you know, just trying to play. With having some of the adversity that you went through this season, both with COVID and injuries, what do you take away from all of this um, going forward into next year? For myself or as a team? Just, uh, for yourself. Um, uh, for myself, uh, I feel like my first three years have been, you know, a bit tough for me, especially with injuries, uh, COVID, not necessarily playing the full season. This is my first full NBA season, technically, even though I didn't play all games. But um, it's, it's, it's cool <clears throat> just, you know, learn about yourself as a player and, and as a person, uh, just being able to grow and, you know, watch film and, you know, off the court stuff as well. So it's just, it, it's cool. It's a, it's a learning experience and something I'm grateful for. I don't know. We'll see. I don't have no. I don't have none. Did Travis tell you like that he expects to have those conversations with you and your agent this offseason when that time comes? Or what did he say? Yeah, my agent told me. Um, I mean, it's just obvious. My third year, uh, third year, fourth year is usually when it happens. So, um, like I said, we'll see. I don't necessarily have a a number I'm looking for or anything, but we'll see. I mean, I don't think guys got complacent. I don't think I saw that. Um, I think it was just it was just a tough year. We had coming in training camp, we had a lot of guys injured. Uh, and then the COVID situation happened, and you know I missed a few games. And you know I feel like everyone in our team missed like a nice bit of games. So um, that's always tough when you're trying to build chemistry for the playoffs and things like that. Very good mention the injuries, and even going back to Virginia. The challenges of start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. I mean, it's something you got to get used to, especially in the NBA. You, you play 82 games. 
um, it's tough to stay healthy all season. Uh, some guys can do it, some guys don't. Um, I'm trying to be one of the guys that can. I haven't yet, but I, I think I will be. Um, other than my knee, I really haven't had any issues. I mean, other than my wrist too, but um, that was kind of a freak thing. But I mean, I think I'll be good. What do you think the roadmap is to knocking off a team like Miami next year? Uh, we just got to play more physical. Um, they they just out hustled us. They were just more physical than us, and I feel like that's probably where we lost the game in most most of the games this series. Was it different like, compared to the Knicks series? Last year was it a different type of physical? <clears throat> oh yeah, definitely. Um, they were physical. The Knicks were physical. They had a few guys who were physical, but the Heat is just everyone. Like no matter who's on the floor, whether Jimmy didn't play, Kyle didn't play, they all play with the same energy, same defensive tenacity. So um, I feel like that was the biggest, the biggest difference between the, the two series. For yourself, do you feel like you need to improve this Uh. Only being in my third year, I think I got to improve on everything. Um, I'm not great at anything yet. Uh, definitely my ball handling, um, shot making, uh, just being able to just ball control in general. Uh, I feel like that's what I need to, you know, get better at to expand my game, and I will. One of the things that we saw uh, prior to the start of last season was you taking guys off the dribble, exceptional as well. Uh, this season, it's Uh, I mean, I, I can dribble. Uh, uh, I, I lose lose my handle sometimes, but I think you know not being able to work out this summer, and you know having a wrist injury where I really couldn't dribble as well. Uh, I feel like that did hurt me. Um, but I mean, I'm not gonna make no excuses. Uh, like I said, next season I'll be a better ball handling for sure.